When we're dealing with a painful reality such as climate change or a difficult relationship or a problem at our, in our workplace, we have good ways of coping and we have dysfunctional ways of coping. So I'm going to go through the dysfunctional ways and then I'll go through the good ways. So the dysfunctional ways, I call it the IDA of poor coping strategies, ignoring, denying and avoidance. So let's talk about ignoring. Ignoring is when you are willfully ignorant of what's going on. You refuse to acknowledge the reality around you and within you. And because of that, you are completely disempowered to ever affect any positive change in your relationships, in your workplace, in your life and in your planet. The next bad coping strategy is denial. So let's say you have a glimmer of what's going on. You go, no, 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 it's not the case. It's not true. I refuse to accept this reality. No, no, no. And again, with ignoring or denying, you are disempowered. You are unable to actually do the things that will make the situation better for yourself and for the world. And then the third in the IDA of poor coping strategies is avoidance. You avoid facing the truth. You don't take any action. You don't want to deal with it. It's too much for you. I'm overwhelmed. I feel helpless. I feel hopeless. It's too late. It's too hard. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to ask. So I just throw up my hands in the air and I give up. And that kind of avoidance makes everything so much more difficult because again, you are completely disempowered. And sadly, the more you avoid, the more helpless you feel because when you don't take action, you never get a chance to build a sense of competence and confidence. And so you become more and more helpless and overwhelmed. Ooh. Just waiting for the sun to get out of my eyes. That's better. So the three positive and effective coping strategies when dealing with painful realities like climate change or a difficult relationship or a challenging workplace situation are what I call the triple A. Accept the triple A. Paying attention, accepting and acknowledging and taking action. So paying attention, that means really seeing what's going on around you and within you, making the effort to keep your eyes open and to be alert and awake and aware and to recognize the things that are happening so that you are empowered to deal with them. The second A is acceptance and acknowledgement of the truth. Even if it's painful, even if it's difficult, even if it's scary, you acknowledge it and accept it so that you are empowered to actually deal with it. And then the third A in this triple A of good coping strategies is action, taking action. And the way to take action is to use what you've seen and what you've acknowledged as information and data. And then you can do the things that you need to do, including asking for help if necessary, getting information, doing your research, asking for support. And then the action that you take is going to make the situation better. And the thing I want to say about taking action is that the more action that you take, the better that you feel, even if the action doesn't lead to immediate results, because you feel engaged, you feel competent, you feel more confident, you feel like there's something you can do. And even if it's a little drop in the ocean, you still feel so much better. And then because you feel better, you are more motivated to continue doing. Whereas with the avoidance and doing nothing, you feel more and more overwhelmed with doing things, with taking action, you feel more and more positive, empowered, and hopeful. So the not good coping strategies, again, are ignoring, denying, and avoidance. And the really good coping strategies are awareness and acceptance and action. I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota, and please stay tuned for more videos on this channel.